If you've been watching the channel for any time now, you know that I love firearms, but I have a very special obsession with one company in particular. Some might call it unhealthy, but at least I can admit that I have a problem. My name is Tim, and I'm an HK addict. At least as of right now, the only therapy I can come up with for this affliction is more HKs. Which brings us to today's little feature, what I would call the peak offering in the VP9 series, a gun that I've been wanting for quite some time. Behold, the Optics Ready Suppressor Ready VP9 Tactical. Before we get into all this German greatness, a huge shout out to today's video sponsor, TacPack. If you've never heard of TacPack, they're a monthly subscription service that delivers great tactical and EDC gear to your door every month. It's basically the stuff you wish your loved ones would get you, but somehow you always end up getting socks or some other useless crap. You will always get way more gear than the cost of the pack. In my last pack, I got this really cool punch set, some targets that are always usable, Tack Pack will always hook you up with some really good pocket knives, and there was even a little muzzle brake from Rex Salentium. Also right now, if you use the code ALABAMA, you'll get a $40 grab bag in addition to your regular package. If you're not familiar with the VP9, let's start with a brief history. That will also let me flex a bit and show off some of my HK collection. The VP series actually got kicked off with the VP70 or Volkspistol 70, which literally translates to the People's Pistol and the year it was created, 1970. That was actually the first ever polymer pistol predating Glock by over a decade. To all the Glock fanboys out there that just heard that for the first time, don't worry. We'll get through this together, and you may want to go pick up an HK. The VP9 is also the first striker fired pistol that HK has made since the legendary P7 that was discontinued in 2008. The P7 is one of the greatest pistols ever made and it would be amazing if HK brought that back since they have been bringing back the hits here recently. And I want you to know that I'm not just showing off all these classic HKs to flex on the pores. I'm doing it to deliver the highest quality HK porn to you the viewer and trying to satisfy HK addicts everywhere. Just imagine it though, HK could have the SP5, the SP5K, and a new P7. It would be like a Greatest Hits album or a comeback tour. It would be amazing. If we could get an HK53, a UMP, and a G36, my life would be complete. Anyway, enough with my sick fantasies. In 2014, HK released the VP9 to finally silence the pores, and they received great acclaim. Sig guys, pay attention, this one's for you. HK also launched it without any major recalls. Ooh, I know that hurt, that hurt. In all seriousness though, HK made a full featured striker fired pistol and offered it at a more affordable price than some of their more premium pistol lines, giving almost anyone who wanted to own those two magic red letters the ability to do just that and enter the upper echelon of firearms ownership. In the VP9, you'll get a legendary polygonal hammer forged barrel, the Spider Man grip that not only has adjustable back straps but also side panels as well, making this one of the most customizable pistols ever made. It also has a more vertical grip and a very good trigger. In 2020, HK gave the VP9 a little facelift. Most notably, they added an optics cut. This allows you to add virtually any pistol red dot by purchasing the adapter plate and removing the filler plate that comes on the pistol. Red dots on pistols do provide quicker target acquisition and finding the target quicker lets you shoot the targets faster. So this is a huge deal and a very welcomed and anticipated upgrade to the VP9 series. HK also changed the magazine internally, allowing it to hold 17 rounds over the 15 rounds of the original. HK also accomplished this without changing any of the external dimensions of the magazine, and they also now ship with a high-vis red follower. The sights on this one feature a blacked out serrated rear and a high-vis tritium front sight, and these are both suppressor height sights, so you can use them to co-witness with most red dots. 
This is the VP9 that I have been wanting and dreaming of for quite some time. Because if you've been watching the channel for any time at all, you know that I love to suppress just about everything I can, and I do really like pistols with optics. Doing this YouTube channel, we get to shoot a lot of different guns, and I greatly enjoy that, and get to shoot a lot of really cool guns. However, I don't necessarily always get to shoot exactly what I want, and I can say that before this review, it had been a little while since I had shot an HK pistol, and it felt really good to be shooting one again. Everything about them just feels right to me. I like the way they feel in my hand, I like the way the sights present when you bring it up to shoot, and I like the recoil impulse. HK firearms just radiate quality and all of the function is just so tight with no slop or play. They are usually far more accurate than the shooter shooting them, and this one with the aim point acro dialed in is amazingly accurate. The trigger just feels great too. While it may not be the lightest, it's lighter than most. It's also very consistent with a great reset. As far as striker fired guns go, this is one of the best triggers going and mine is pulling right at about four and a half pounds. But if you ever want to talk about amazing triggers, we should look at some of the HK hammer fired guns. VP9s are also ridiculously reliable. We tortured one years ago, and while it deeply hurt me inside to do it, the gun was flawless all the way through the test, just like this one. And with some striker fired guns, you have to get some rounds through them before they start functioning reliably with a suppressor, but this one worked right out of the gate with no issues. As I already said, I'm running the Aimpoint Acro for an optic, and I know she big, but I still love her. The Acro is a great optic in my opinion, with the one caveat being the battery life. We did a whole video discussing that, and you should go check that out. In this video, we primarily ran the Yankee Hill Machine N20 suppressor. This is an extremely impressive can with so many features and details, you'll just have to go check out that video to get the full scoop on the YHM N20. Of course, a handgun isn't any good without a quality holster, and whenever I need a holster, I always turn to Harry's holsters. I love his holsters. I have several for several different pistols, and they all have been great. It always seems he's one of the first guys making holsters for the guns I want. While the full-size VP9 isn't a regular carry for me, his executive model does a great job securing it and it even works with the threaded barrel and the Aimpoint Acro. If you're in the market for a quality holster, I always recommend you check him out and you can save a little bit of money with the code AA5 at harrysholsters.com. The VP9 has been a major contender since it first hit the scene. It brought polymer striker fired pistols to a level of quality that was thought impossible before HK joined the chat. And yes, that was aimed at Glock. The new upgrades the series received in 2020 were very welcomed and a great improvement on an already amazing handgun. Now in 2021, with the optics ready tactical version, I'm just not sure that the VP9 can get any better. And to me, this is the pinnacle of the VP9 lineup and I'm just so ecstatic to finally have one. A huge thank you goes out to Callaway Ballistics for providing the ammo for this video. I don't know if you're aware, but ammo is a little hard to come by, so them providing it for the video is a massive help to me. Go check them out at CallawayBallistics.com. I think you'll see they have some of the best prices with ammo currently as well. As always guys, thank you so much for watching. If you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now. We are working on some really big reviews that you won't want to miss. If you want to find out what those reviews are way before they hit the YouTube channel, check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and Parlor, and there you can see what's being reviewed in real time. If you want to help support the channel, the best possible way to do that is on Patreon. These videos can be surprisingly expensive to make, and every contribution is a great help and greatly appreciated. There's Alabama Arsenal gear available right below the video if you want to go out and represent. And as always guys, thank you so much for watching.